Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neil and I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And the other shoe has dropped for CNN. The layoffs, the layoffs have begun again. Uh, I think we're gonna see a lot of layoffs at CNN and the, the, you know, things aren't working out so well for them. They were, uh, they were going to uh, you know, have this morning show that was supposed to be this great big deal and it was a complete the flop. CNN Plus. CNN Didn't Plus. Even allow, three weeks and $500 million later they cancel it. Yeah, so David Zaslav came in and said one of his his uh, biggest uh, concerns is CNN. CNN needs to change, fundamentally change. They have to actually be a cable news network and not a cable opinion network. Yeah, and it's not going. It's, it's not, not just going. them. There's a lot of news networks that need you know, an overhaul, let's be honest. Yeah, but uh, you know, I have to wonder if people actually want unbiased news <laughs> Anymore. I don't think still... so. I think people just buy whatever one is confirmation bias for them, and that's what they stick with. Like it's yeah. I mean that's the thing. It used to be like you would you would watch the news. They would have an interview with somebody. You'd form your own opinion. Whatever. You'd move on about your day. Now you've got uh, people telling you in between the reporting or pseudo reporting what your opinion should be on a particular topic. So things have have changed for sure. So we'll talk about that. We'll talk about AMC laying off too. Um, this is the. Uh, it's so weird because everybody, I don't know what to call this. This is like the, the streaming apocalypse because everybody was like, my God, streaming is the future. Just a year or two ago, it was like everything's streaming, everything's fantastic. I'm like, yeah, when people are locked in their houses and they have nothing better to do but watch lots and lots of television, your viewership's gonna go up. Now that people can actually leave the freaking house, it's gonna go down. Plus there's a recession coming, plus, uh, you know, there's just too much. There's too much competition. Is this the building they were selling? I think it's the, the building. The one that got the, got ruined during the, 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 peaceful, the, the peaceful protest? Protests? Yeah, I think I think it might be. Yeah, that's the one in Atlanta the, during the peaceful protest. Yeah, yeah. Um, real shame about that. Anyway, uh, Hollywood Reporter, we're going to talk about this. Uh, before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Over 281,000 subs. Thank you for the support. Uh, we have been talking about Warner the layoffs, uh, CNN, not that we're a political channel, but it's it's kind of a big deal because, you know, CNN was the backbone of uh, Warner TV for a long time. And it's just not. It's not because people got tired. I think it's the same with a lot of news networks. People, you know, get tired of narrative being, you know, projected as news. And like, like for example, when the building was getting destroyed during the, they kept saying, oh, it's peaceful protest, peaceful protest, and their building's getting destroyed. Yeah, I know, right? I'm like, come on. You know, it's like, it's gotten to the point where people don't believe what they're told. Which is why they don't have people that watch, which is why they're losing money, which is why they have to lay people off. Yes. So nobody's watching CNN. That's the long and short of it is not enough people are watching. Video over. No. <laughs> watching CNN, uh, too bad, so sad, uh, everything ends, there we go. But uh, yeah, they said a couple months ago that they were gonna uh, lay off and uh, here it is. And this this is probably one of many rounds. And I think we're gonna see a lot of this from a lot of different streaming companies and TV networks over the next couple months. Uh, CNN will be hit by layoffs Wednesday and Thursday, part of a continued cost cutting by parent company Warner Brothers Discovery, Daddy's Ass Lab, which is trying to integrate the legacy Warner Media businesses like CNN and the Discovery businesses, and uh, it's not going so well. Mm -hmm. Now, memo Wednesday morning, CNN CEO Chris, I think it's Light, I kept saying Licked, like Lich, Chris Lich. Chris Light, okay, I don't know what <laughs> is, how you Light say his name. Wrote that the channel will inform paid contributors Wednesday as part of a new reporting strategy with full-time employees being informed of their status on Thursday, it will be a difficult time for everyone. Wow. Our people so are- So freelancers and staff writers. Yes, freelancers and staff writers. And we're gonna see a lot. I mean, I'm telling you right now, this is this is CNN. I mean, if CNN's not immune, we're gonna see a lot of these digital media outlets, especially, and we've been talking about, it. they're gonna go, what's the term? What's the tits up? Tits up. That's what you always say. They're gonna go tits up. Where did I get that? My mom, I got it from my mom. I don't even know. I just, I just like, I, he says, you, I say stuff too that you're like, what the heck? Well, she, it's she, like, you know, the things you hear in your family. Well, she she had a ranch and she bred horses and stuff. So I think I think when an animal goes tits up, like they're dying and they're, all of their multiple tits are up mm. when they roll over on their My back. My grandma used to say grease your titties when she talked about putting Vicks on. Like, are you to grease your titties? <laughs> Old timey wimey. I love my grandma. Sayings. She was great. She was, she was fun. Grease yeah. your titties. She also said she's a, we had a side note, but it's funny. We were, my, my family was in a play and it was, um, what was it? It was, uh, I forget what, what it was, but the guy was playing Jesus in it. 
And he had to wear, he had to <laughs> Jesus wear. Jesus Christ Superstar? It wasn't Jesus Christ Superstar. It was Book something of else. Mormon? No, but he was playing Jesus in it. And Godspell? Yes, Godspell. And he was playing Jesus in it, and he was wearing um, like a... a like a, a, the other on the roof. Um, he was wearing like a diaper type thing, like a little cloth type, thing, whatever it was. And my grandma, my grandma just goes, "Oh, wow, he's hung like a rhino." I was, I was, my teenage self just about died. Anyway, back to CNN. Back to CNN. <laughs> back to you. Back to you, Don. Uh, back to you. The cuts are not a surprise. Uh, they warned employees in late October the news division would be undergoing restructuring, citing widespread concern over the global economic outlook. This sounds like Disney. Everybody's having global macroeconomic issues. Basically, nobody wants to take the blame. That's the thing, because people still watch TV. People still, uh, people still watch the news. People still watch YouTube. But these companies don't want to take the blame. So they're going to be like, well, because of a recession, just everybody's eyeballs fell out and they just stopped watching maybe, our channel. Maybe it's like, because, because you suck. I don't maybe know. Maybe it's because you suck. Maybe it's just you. Uh, maybe you just suck. Uh, again, maybe you just suck. Yeah, you couldn't compete in the same market. No. Um, the company has made cuts to CNN Digital, saw a handful of high-profile on-air anchors and correspondents depart, like Brian Stelter and John Harwood and... Don Lemon's morning show was a lemon and a bunch of other people left. Here's the memo. Here's the memo. To my CNN colleagues, our people are the heart and soul of this organization. It's incredibly hard to say goodbye to any one member of the CNN team. Must, which I was thinking it. Much less many. I recently described this process as a gut punch because I know that's how it feels for all of but us. But I'm still able to write this memo. I still have my job, so Merry Christmas. Today, we'll notify a limited number of individuals, largely some of our paid contributors, as part of a recalibrated reporting strategy. Tomorrow, we will notify impacted employees, and tomorrow afternoon, I will follow up with more details on the changes. They're calling it the Musk Initiative. Just toss everybody overboard. <laughs> it will be a difficult time for everyone. If your job has been impacted, you will learn more through an in-person meeting or via Zoom. Well, that's at least they're telling them that. I mean, yeah. that sucks. It was just an email. They're at least telling them. <laughs> at least it's not like, if you tried to log into the Slack <laughs> yeah, this morning no, or I, your email and you got locked out, you're fucking fired. Goodbye. Yeah, that was, yeah. Goodbye. In those meetings, you'll receive information specific to you about notice period or any severance that would apply in your anticipated last day. I want to be clear that everyone who is bonus eligible will still receive their bonuses. Okay, that's good. Which is good. Determined by company performance. <laughs> which isn't performing, which is why you're all getting laid off. I know these changes affect. Yeah, they're probably like, yeah. We're so not here's gonna... all your five bucks. Yeah, here's your five bucks. Nobody's got to pay you shit because you didn't bring shit to the... Uh, I know these changes affect both our department colleagues and those who remain. We have resources designed to support you, including a grief room. I will include a link to those resources. Goodbye. I mean, at least Sonar. they're trying. They're to, trying. It's, I mean, I will give them that. At least they're, you know, they have to, to make cuts, but they're trying to make it, you know, they're trying to, you know, tell people, you know, via Zoom or in person. They're trying to, you know, make sure there's there's things in place. People still get their bonuses. They still get, you know, th there's some help for them. There's some things they're trying to do to help people. So I'll give them that. Well, maybe some of these displaced uh, Warner employees can go to AMC. Oh, no, wait, they no. Can't. No, they can't. See, this is the this is the thing about this. A lot of these people, whether they're displaced from Twitter or Facebook or whatever, they're going to find that it's going to be a challenge to get back in because so many places are laying off. AMC laying people off. Uh, they're planning significant layoffs as the CEO steps down after less than three months. That sounds like it yeah. went really, really well for them. Um, AMC Networks told employees in Momo Tuesday it's planning significant layoffs. The plans come as CEO Christina Spade is leaving the company after Three months, less than three months, and the company says board is finalizing its decision for her replacement. Well, that's awfully fast. Uh, that is awfully fast. Um, so they said, yeah, it was our belief that cord cutting losses would be offset by gains in streaming. This has not been the case. We're primarily a content company and the mechanisms for the monetization of content are in disarray. My thing is, if you're going to do anything with streaming, it's, unless you're making content and selling it, it's really dumb right now because there's too much competition. Yeah, there's there's too much competition. And this was going to happen. We said before there was going to be like a streaming wars Highlander and you were going to have two or three companies that were going to come out on top and everybody else was going to fall. And what's going to happen is so many 
of these companies chase streaming to their own detriment. And it, hell, Disney wasn't, I mean, we did a video about Disney. Disney got into debt massively for Disney Plus, and that's Disney. You know, what What chance did AMC have? They're like, oh, everybody's, jerk, yeah. everybody's just going to watch this. Actually, what's going on, which is really weird, and uh, I saw articles about it a couple months ago, is a lot of people are just going back to linear television. They're like, it's too expensive to subscribe to all these streaming services. It's too confusing. Let's go get Dish or cable. Or yeah, I'll just, I'll just. A lot of people are just getting, getting the HD antenna, and they're like, I'll just watch Me TV. They had millennials watching Me TV because they're like, I'd rather watch Mash reruns and just turn the TV on, turn my brain off. Uh, most of the time, our kids just watch YouTube videos or TikTok videos or whatever. Yeah. Anyway, so I mean, if it were, if it were just me. Um, and my, you know, like I like Roku TV, but I know what they're going to do with that. They're eventually going to charge you for that too. But there's more than you can possibly watch on Roku. And currently it's free. I don't know if that's going to last. they charge, but I don't think it'd be that much. I don't think it'd be that much. But yeah, they're, they're like, yeah, it's just, it's not going well for anybody uh, right now. And it's so weird to see all of this just implode in such a short period of time too. I mean, everything was great. Everything was streaming, streaming, streaming. Everything's fantastic, guys. We're streaming. And then now it's just like kaboom. I would say like, you know, doing the the yeah, ad supported tiers on everything would be the, you know, it's like watching regular TV, except there have been times when I was watching Hulu that I know shit got like nine ads back to back to back to back. And I was like, I think we counted once and there was like nine or it, was, it might even well, be more Hulu's than that. Terrible. And I was like, what the hell? And we're supposed to be paying for the, we were had the ad free live mm -hmm. streaming. Well, Black that's TV. that's Disney, and they need all the money they can get right I now, right? I was like, nine ads? What the hell? And it's a really great time for all Might these, more, honestly. All these like, companies to go all in on, on uh, ad-supported tiers, too, when the ad rates are abysmal. Yeah, that's another thing. That's a whole other topic, but yes. Ad rates are really down. Yes. And that's that, the problem. That includes YouTubers. That includes, um, you know, <laughs> get the little, I need to get the little violin out. You know? Please support your YouTuber by buying But here's the thing, you know, if I were an advertiser, I'd put it on places like YouTube because a lot of people are watching that because it's free. You might actually make, these companies might actually make more money throwing their content on YouTube and running YouTube ads than they would to do it themselves. Right, but they want you, that you, You're garden. dependent. Well, I mean, some people, you know, if you, if you usually it's a reduced price, but you're dependent on people paying for it. If people are cutting cords, they're going to go look for free entertainment. YouTube's free. Do uh, do what you, individual YouTubers do. And they have, you know, uh, memberships and you can paywall content for members throw your AMC crap on YouTube and then just paywall certain, you know, like, oh, this one's gonna be paywalled for a week until we make it free. Right. If you want it early, pay us 10 bucks or something. You know, I don't know. I mean, lots of things they well, can do. That, yeah, people have to want it. People have to want it. All right. I'm gonna wrap it up. Yes, please do. All right, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.